Hello again and welcome to another lesson. This time we're looking at uh, some examples for dividing with fractions. The first example we have is obviously very simple and uh, when we divide with fractions one thing that I that I told you to keep in mind is to tip and times. Okay. To tip and times, okay, that simply means that we, the denominator or the value that we are dividing with in this case we are dividing with this one, we are going to tip it, and instead of dividing, we are going to multiply. So we have 2z divided by 5 times 10 over 7. And then we do normal multiplication, where we learned that first we are going to cancel common factors. 5 divides into itself once, into 10 twice, and that's all that can. So that we have 2z times 2 equals 4z and 1 times 7 equals 7. So that is fairly simple. Uh, the next one we have W9. So again we're going to tip in times since we are dividing with a fraction. So the divide with fraction is going to be tipped. In, uh, in other words we're multiplying with the reciprocal and then we are going to mul uh, divide with that. Sorry, multiply with the reciprocal. So the um, mul divide change to multiply and then this becomes 2y to the power of 6 divided by uh, 7w5 and y4. Okay, let's quickly divide common factors. Okay, so uh, let's start with the, with the coefficients. These are 2 goes into itself once and then here 6 times. And that's it. So for the coefficients, it's 1 in front here. 1 times 1 is 1. Don't need to write that, and then unless there's nothing else to write, then then there'd be a one. Then six times seven is forty-two. Okay, next we have W's and Y's all over the place. So let's see how many W's we have in the numerator and in the denominator. In the numerator, I seem to have nine, and that is only nine. In the denominator, I've got two here, another five here, so that makes a total of seven. So the seven in the denominator will call cancel with 7 in the numerator to leave me only with 2 more in the numerator. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to save some time since there's quite a few uh, examples I want to get to. Uh, let's see, how about the y's? For y, I've got y to the power of 3 and y to the power of 6. So in total, I've got 3 factors and another 3 factors in the numerator, uh, 6 factors in the numerator, which makes it a total of 9 factors of y. And in the denominator, I have Four factors, so those four will cancel with four of the nine, leaving me with still five in the numerator. Okay, that that way you can do it that way if you want, or you can simply say, well, this cancels with uh, four of those to leave me with two. So three plus two gives me five. Okay, here is another example of dividing a fraction with a fraction. This time a little bit different. Here we can see that we have terms trinomials and, and these are called binomials uh, but again I have a fraction divided by a fraction so the first thing I do is to tip and times so 5x plus 6 divided by x squared minus 3x minus 4 times and here we go uh, the denominator and numerator of the denominator turns around so that becomes x plus 1 that used to be the denominator of the denominator over x plus 3 which used to be the numerator of the denominator is that confusing? okay this can go into two brackets so now that's my next step is to factorize okay so in order to continue my multiplication I'm going to factorize this and I see this goes into x and x what times what gives me 6 when I multiply it and 5 when I add it obviously 2 and 3 Okay, I've done these enough to know some of these almost off by heart. What times what gives me negative 4, and when I add it, I get negative 3. Okay, that is positive, no, negative 4 times positive 1. Okay, and this is multiplied by x plus 1. And you see I put that x plus 1 in a bracket. Uh, I, I can do that as long as the sign in front is not a negative and x plus 3 and then I just cancel what's common there's a common, there's a common, there's a common 
there's a common and I am left with x plus 2 over x minus 4 again please remember you can't cancel the x's or divide the 2 into the 4 we can only cancel common factors it has to be a factor in every term to cancel it and, and that's not the case there good next question okay here fairly simple I, I'm sure you, you can see this time uh, the term in front here x minus 1 over x minus 3 stays exactly the same it's what comes after the divide it's what I'm dividing with that gets tipped and then multiplied okay and uh, I'm going to keep this x plus 1 but in this step why not save a little bit of time and in this step already do the factorizing of the numerator here which becomes the new denominator and uh, what times what gives me negative 3 and when I subtract when I add them I get negative 2 that's obviously negative 3 and positive 1 I say obviously hopefully you get that by now but simply because I want to cancel I can just put my my things in brackets so that I can consider the whole thing as a factor okay because if I don't it, it's a term and a term and I can't cancel terms so I can do that and let's see yes there's one thing that can cancel here and that is the x plus 1 can cancel with the x plus 1 and then I am left with in the numerator there's a 1 left there x minus 1 times 1 okay which doesn't make any effect so I don't need to put my brackets in the denominator I've got x minus 3 x minus 3 times x minus 3 now you could leave your answer like this this is not wrong at all to leave your answer there but you might feel more comfortable just simplifying uh, further and then multiplying these out since you've already factorized and nothing can cancel if you do want to leave it in a, in a which would actually be a simpler form um, you can multiply it out and this becomes x squared minus 3 and minus 3 is minus 6 x negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9 okay you could leave it like that as well okay here's another question this time you can see oh we've got coefficients okay we've got coefficients to our x squared terms which means that we are going to have to use the Muller method to uh, factorize these or but in the first step or actually let's do it from the very first step let's factorize so what we're trying to do is we are trying to get um, we get a times there and I can see here that I have 4 and, and 20 so the factors of 4 can be 4 uh, 1 times 4 or 2 times 2 or 4 times 1 so you see I write them all out so because 20 has more factors it's got 1 times 20 2 times 10 4 times 5 and then it turns around again so I'm rather going to leave it like this okay and then test them and I need to get to what negative 21 negative 21 my signs must be the same so both will have to be negative how do I know my signs are the same okay because of the positive 20 okay so I need to get 21 so 1 times 20 and 4 times 1 gives me 24 that's not going to work 1 times 10 gives me 10 4 times 2 gives me 8 not going to work okay 1 times 5 gives me 5 4 times 4 is 16 5 and 16 work okay so that works for me 4 and 4 let's just confirm 1 times 5 is 5 4 times 4 is 16 this works perfect it wasn't that that difficult okay so this one uh, has to be negative 5 so it's 1 times negative 5 and this one is 4 times negative 4 to give me negative 16 so it's 1x minus 4 so x minus 4 and 4x minus 5 4x minus 5 
Okay, and this can give you fairly confidence that this one will, will at least have, or maybe have one of those two, two brackets. So let's see. Okay, let's clean it up like this. Okay, this side. And clean that side. Okay, then we can just reuse this because it's also 4. This time we're getting 12. So on this side we have to have the factors of 12. That's 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and then 4 and 3 and the other way around again. Okay, what we're trying to get is negative 19. Okay, it is positive 12, so both of these will be the same sign and they'll both be negative. Okay, let's see, 1 and 12 gives me 12, 4 and 1 gives me 4, which is 12 and 4 is 16, doesn't work. Okay, now 1 and 6 gives me 6, uh, 4 and 2 gives me 8, 6 and 8 gives me 16, uh, 14, it does not give me 19, okay, so that didn't work. Now 1 and 4 gives me 4. 4 and 3 give me 12, together they give me 16. This one didn't work with anyone, okay, I'm afraid. My prediction didn't last, okay, or didn't work. Now, 2 and 12 gives me 24, plus 20, uh, 2 gives me 26, doesn't work. 2 and 6 gives me 12, 2 and 2 gives me 4, that gives me 16 again, okay. Then, uh, 2 and 4. 4 gives me 8, 2 and 3 gives me uh, 6, 8 and 6 is 14, again that didn't work with any of them, okay so the last one, 4 and 12, 4 and 12 gives me way too big, I'm now at 30, uh, sorry 48, 48 and 1 gives me 49, then 4 and 6, 4 and 6 gives me uh, 24, 1 and 2 gives me uh, 2, so that gives me 26, doesn't work. Last one, so this one didn't work with anyone, that one didn't, and this time it's the very last one I tried, wow. Okay, so we've got 4 and 4 is 16, 1 and 3 is 19, so uh, it's 3, so that together gives me 19, so it's 4x uh, and what we need negative 16 so that should be a negative and that should be a negative so it's 4 x minus 3 4 x minus 3 is the one and the other one is 1 x minus 4 x minus 4 and there we can already see these two are going to cancel we've got this one okay gets tipped in times because that changed the denominator becomes the numerator so that one we can do in the meantime that one becomes x minus, okay, so I must get what times what gives me 6, and when I add it, negative 6, and when I add it together, I get positive 1, and that is uh, positive 3 and negative 2, okay, so now for that last one, okay, so uh, let's just start on a new, a new line, so we have uh, 1 and 4, 2 and 2 and 4 and 1 and then on this side we need to get 15 now 15 is not too bad 15 is 1 and 15 3 and 5 that's it okay so we should get this one fairly easily we need to get 7 this time it's a negative uh, so we need to subtract them or their signs need to be different one will be positive and the other one negative, the bigger one positive because we need a positive 7. Okay, so it's 1 times 15 and 4 times 1. That gives me 15 and 4, but when 15 minus 4 does not give me 7. Okay, so that one didn't work. Then 1 and 5 gives me 5, 4 and 3 gives me 12. Okay, so 12 minus 5, indeed that does give me 7. So we have this one and that one okay they work so we have uh, negative 5 positive 12 so in other words 1 times negative 5 to give me the negative 5 and 4 times positive 3 to give me the positive 12 so I've got 1x plus 3 so it's x plus 3 and the other one is 4 
x minus 5 4 x minus 5 that looks good and now we can go and cancel before we finally simplify to cancel we've got that one cancelling with this one then we have 4x minus 5 cancelling with 4x minus 5 then we have x plus 3 cancelling with x plus 3 and in the end we are left with simply in the numerator all of these they cancel but they left one as a factor in their place in the end we only have in the numerator x minus 2 left that's just multiplied with 1 so we don't need that bracket and in the denominator 4x minus 3 that was a long question and I don't think it's going to be as long as this one this is an even longer one but I, uh, I think I'll do this one in the next video see you then